What's up everyone, it's Travis here and welcome back to the SF Bay Area Sports Talk channel. Hope everybody is having an excellent day today. The San Francisco Giants absolutely destroy the rival Dodgers 10-4. What an incredible game this was. The 37-year-old left-hander Scott Kazmir got the start for your Giants, pitching solid, going three innings, allowing two earned runs on two hits, and striking out four. And what an amazing story this is as Kazmir is trying to make a comeback as he has not pitched in an MLB game since September of 2016. So I'm incredibly excited to see what Kazmir can do and if he can make this team out of spring training. What an incredible story. And you just love to see a guy who feels he still has some gas left in the tank. And he is going out there and competing and just giving his heart out. And I just love that. What an incredible game for the Giants offense as they crushed multiple home runs. You had Chadwick Trump crush a grand slam, and Chadwick Trump is definitely making that backup catcher competition very interesting as the Giants did bring in Kurt Casale to back up Buster Posey. But with Chadwick Trump playing as well as he's been playing and the type of at-bats that he is giving, this is a guy that you want, you have to get, you know, his bat in the lineup, find a way to get him in there as much as possible. And I do believe that you'll see Chadwick Trump this year, you know, earn a significant amount of playing time and get several starts if he keeps hitting the baseball the way that he has been hitting. I loved his at-bats last year and he has displayed the power. He can crush some home runs and you love to have that. You know, you can bring him off the bench and when you do, you know, start him behind the plate. He is a great receiver receiver and you're not missing a whole lot of offense and so such a great player to have Mikey Skrinski with an incredible game as he goes two for three he smacks a two run home run and also smacks a two run triple I love what we've been seeing from Mikey Skrinski and he is my sleeper MVP pick in the uh, for this year. I do believe he can have that type of season. I mean, since he has come on with the Giants in the end of May of 2019, he has just absolutely raked. And I do expect him to continue to do that this year. And man, I just love his at-bats so much. And Evan Longoria also crushed a deep home run to deep left field in this game. It was, an, um, it was a mammoth home run shot. And Evan Longoria still playing at such a very very high level and he's going to be a huge part to this offense you know contributing with his at bats he can drive in a ton of runs hit home runs and is playing uh, still plays a gold glove caliber defense at third base and man what an incredible talent and you know Longoria is definitely making a case you know as a future hall of famer you know with the more years under his belt and just you know overall being an incredible athlete and player over the years so you know i just love that we still have longoria and i can't wait to see what he is going to do this season now continuing to run down the box score so many contributions from this giants team and that is what i think you will see this lineup do this year you know they are going to set the table they are going to reach base they are going to give you quality at bats they are going to work the pitchers and i'm just going i cannot wait uh, for all of us you know we are going to love watching this offense compete just as we did last year and seeing them excel and you know beat you know top five top ten in several of the major offensive hitting categories in baseball and man so what incredible you had Tommy Listella pick up a base hit going to one for three a great signing by the Giants a guy who can start for you at second third base and he can give you great at bats off the bench and you know if he's going to give a guy a day off you know you're going to get quality at bats from him Donnie Barrel is having an incredible spring as he is hitting over 500 he goes one for three today you had Austin Slater also pick up a base hit going one for three and I do expect Austin Slater to make that next big jump this year to you know really solidifying himself as an everyday player in the outfield 
you know, he has shown us, you know, these 20, 25 game stretches where, yeah, he has been able to absolutely rake and but hasn't been able to, you know, consistently do it over an extended long period of time. But I do expect him to be able to do that this season. And it's going to be incredibly exciting to continue to follow his development and see what he accomplishes this year. Now, Mauricio Dubon also with a base hit today, going one for two and scores two runs in the game. Dubon playing center field and displaying his athleticism. What an incredible athlete as last year he made the move to becoming a center fielder. And so, you know, that makes him that much more, you know, uh, better as yeah he becomes more versatile he can play second now he can play in center field and you know just another way to get his bat there in the lineup and yeah to me you know I think he's only going to get better and you know he is my favorite player right now so I, I'm so excited to see what Dubon will accomplish this year playing every day I think he's going to put up some big time and numbers and so it's going to be so much fun to watch. And yeah, this offense, man, they are going to be so incredibly exciting this year. And, you know, I do believe that with this offense and, you know, as uh, and also in this game, which we are going to get into right now, which is the bullpen, the bullpen give them a tremendous job. Well done today. Give them a lot of credit. Uh, they did a tremendous job. You had, after Casimir go his three innings, you had uh, Zach Littell coming in later in the game, and he ended up pitching a one shutout inning and struck out three batters, the 25-year-old uh, right-hander. Uh, so really showing that nasty stuff that he has got. So incredible. You also had James Sherfy, the 29-year-old righty. He goes one inning and also strikes out three batters as well. So incredible stuff from him, from the righty. And you also had Nick Tropiano pitch two innings. And so this is a guy, we have seen him start in spring training. And I think you will see him used out of the bullpen. You know, he has gotten incredible stuff. And it also makes makes it a huge asset that he can start for you if you need him to. In this one, he goes two innings, allowing two hits, one walk, and striking out five batters. And Trevor Gott pitched a nice inning, going one inning, uh, one hit, and striking out one batter. And I also do expect Trevor Gott to have a bounce-back year last year. As unfortunately, last season, he was the scapegoat. You know, he blew so many games for us. Um, unfortunately, and you know, that, you know, definitely I would have to imagine he went through a lot going through that. So you have to imagine his mental toughness is, you know, incredibly strong. Uh, he's so much more stronger now having gone through that. So, you know, I'm expecting him to have a bounce back year this year and, you know, be able to come through for us. And of course he is going to have to prove that he can get those big outs if he is going to be trusted in a high leverage situation. Because in my opinion, yeah, I don't think the Giants will be using him in those high leverage situations, at least not to start out the season. But if God shows that he has got his stuff going for him, he puts together a string of solid outings together, and, you know, then I think uh, could see him potentially uh, getting those opportunities um, in those high leverage situations. And yeah, the bullpen it really is going to be such a key for the Giants this year because last year with all the blown saves, and you know, our offense did such an amazing job. And, you know, last year we got incredible performances out of the starting rotation. And, you know, with this rotation being improved this year, you know, I really do think this Giants team really can surprise a lot of people. And I think this team can make it out of the wild card. And also, you know, it can be extremely competitive in the division. You know, I'm not going to say the Giants are going to win the NL West, but I will say I think it's going to be close. I think it will be competitive a lot closer, you know, than people think, you know, people think the Dodgers are going to run away with the division. And yeah, you know, they are definitely the team to beat, um, you know, as long as they stay healthy, because yeah, they, they are such a beast. And um, but, you know, so much fun competing against them. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun this year. And I cannot wait for next it up for the Giants will be a road matchup against the Chicago White Sox. With that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video. 
Thank you so much everyone for checking out the video and if you enjoyed this video and made it all the way through to the end of this video, please make some noise for the YouTube algorithm and smash up that like button. I really appreciate that. It really helps out the channel big time. This lets YouTube know, uh, thanks to the YouTube algorithm, that this video is relevant. And so then YouTube can recommend this video to as many Giants fans, Dodgers fans, and baseball fans out there. So thank you so much, everyone, for that. And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. We do sports videos on all the latest breaking news, including in-depth coverage of all your favorite local teams here in the San Francisco Bay Area, Giants, 49ers, Warriors, and Sharks. We do it all right here with game breakdowns and live fan reactions. Let me know your thoughts and reactions to this game. Drop them down below in that comment section. Would love to hear what you all thought. And as a Giants fan, I just love this game. You know, I thought we did so many incredible things. Bullpen, offense, uh, Kazmir's amazing story. So, you know, a lot of great things coming out of this game. And would love to hear from all of you Giants fans. Uh, so really appreciate that. So, uh, thank you. And as always, until next time, we'll see you all back here on the SF Bay Area Sports Talk channel. Have a fantastic rest of your day, everyone. And as always, peace out and take care and strive for greatness. Bye-bye. We'll see you later. Peace out.